Red flood. Yeah, do it. Get in there. Raise ult. Can we raise ult? Can we raise ult? Like this should be what we're talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ult. Can we raise ult into it? I'm ulting, ulting, okay. flashing for you, flashing for you. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. You <laughs> know. Okay. So now, what do we do? What do you think we do here? Do we get hit Flash with this. Out. Flash it. Move forward. You got it. This is the weirdest fucking ear I've ever drawn in my life. But this is an ear, okay? Ears hear okay. things. I know that it's hard for you to <laughs> to take it. This looks really bad. <laughs> Let me try this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is your ear, okay? <laughs> okay. I hope it's not my ear. How do I keep drawing? How do I keep drawing <laughs> phallic imagery? I don't know how it keeps happening. This is a, this is an ear, okay? I need you to use this more actively. The reason okay. why is that you're under so much immense pressure over here in the situation but you know there's going on and sometimes you can't flick your eyes so it all has to be based off faith and what you're hearing around you You hear gunshots you see green on the left hand side you go for it you know what's happening right now there's really no need to be looking at your crosshair you got a molly at your feet you got a cage covering you it's basically a smoke so we should be able to flick our eyes around here and see what's going on and know that you're safe to run out of this okay Want to get coached? Join this Discord. We have free and paid coaching options. Can't wait to see you there. Enjoy the video. So guys, I'm very happy to be able to bring in Nico here. We've had Nico in for a couple of times now. Nico is playing Breach in this VOD, which we haven't done a Breach VOD in a very, very long time, which is great to see, because I, I feel like I'm just doing every other, every other character except for Breach. It's been a while since I've done Breach. No. Who are you enabling in this comp? Uh, Grace. Ray is beautiful. Okay, so you're gonna be buddy buddy with Ray's wherever Ray's wants to go. You got a flash and okay, so you went with a ghost. Cool. That's fine. Cool with that. Okay, so the stun is to get someone who might be here. Correct? Right. I would wait until someone's close to peeking instead of throwing it right away. Because I'm pretty sure someone can just escape from this. Let me see. I don't think you're, here's what I'm going to say. At the beginning of the round, call it you're stunning this area and then say three, two, one, stunning it right now. That way everyone's on the right page. You're already starting to get communication going. Okay. So, and here's another thing, right? So if your aftershock is available, you can clear this close up corner or you can even hit this spot right here, which forces people out into the open, right? So that's one thing to think about. You can get people out of their position with the aftershock, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so you need to take way more charge of these rounds. We shouldn't be reactive with our utility. We should be proactive. How do we become proactive? Comms. All comes from you saying, Ray's, I'm going to flash this for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, you're literally seeing an opportunity and you take it. So remember how I said, you're gonna be attached to the hip, right? You're gonna be watching this guy. He clearly wants to take space. He wants to move off this. First of all, you can ask, do you wanna hit this raise? If they say yes, or they say nothing, just work under the assumption that they're gonna say yes, or they say nothing at that point. It's like, okay, I'm gonna flash you. You ready for this? Three, two, one, flashing, go, 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 right? I wanna right. hear that initiative, okay? Especially if you hear that should be like almost instantaneous you flash this corner at that point it's already too late in your positioning i would just flash this corner right away because the flash is going to end up behind him so anyone who's inside is going to get hit by that no, no, right no. there was two backside there was two backside the, i think the cypher didn't get blinded though no you wasn't blind i worked on... like right now i'd just be like instead of talking and reflecting about the stuff it's like uh raise where do you want a path i want to go here awesome i'm going to stun this flash stun and flash this for you so you can get over that that position yeah. sound good okay cool yeah. flashing three two one Right? It's literally, it's that simple. Open the door always here. And open with a stun on the side. Yep. So, beautiful. That was your setup that caused that to happen. So that's good. And you get the assist for that. 
Remember that. <laughs> Anytime yeah. you displace or move them, that's an assist. So, we love seeing that. That's good. How much money do you have? 1950. I was gonna say, you could maybe make a... You could make an investment of one flash. That's one thing, whenever you see me play KO, sometimes on my, well, pretty much most of the times, whenever I'm on eco, I buy at least one flash because that one flash can flip the entire round on its head, right? Imagine you get this flash off, for example, and then you kill that one person, grab their gun, and now you, fl you flip it into a thrifty opportunity, right? So if you can afford it, where you can full buy the following round, don't be afraid to buy one. Watching out, three, two, one. There you go. That's what I want to hear. Okay. What I don't want to see is a complete dump of all your utility, right? We busted right. everything within 15 seconds of the round. That's a big key, okay? So let's just watch how you use everything here first. So you stun the push up. Let's see where their money's at. Yep, this is a decent stun. I'm okay with this because there's a chance I can push into it. Love this. Stun I'm okay with. Stun main here. Stun's good. Watch me outside when you guys are in. Flash is too early, and you're not calling. You're saying, I'm going to flash this or something along those lines, but we're not really clear, and these guys aren't ready to stage either, and they shouldn't really go in while that smoke is up. Okay? okay. This, is, this is scary. <laughs> Shit, going through there. Especially the way it is right now. That ends up getting you a kill? Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so now we can just be B main. One, one link, one link, one link right there. Or you play with Rays here. You gotta play with Rays now. Link, 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 link. Okay, you're good. Alright, here's one thing that you can do that will get you above Wu Jin, okay? Above the Huge Man. Okay. I want you to look over here and you see this Omen ult? You've. Yeah. Heard me talk about how you can use Omen Ult a million times. Okay? Right. Suggest a play with that Omen Ult. What could we do with the Omen Ult? What do you think? You could choose anything. Um, I would uh, I would honestly just ult somewhere safe. Like, probably our spawn just to like make them kind of confused. He can Omen Ult on himself. And that will pull everyone back. So if we went and like walk exploded C, for example. That could be really effective considering the fact that Cypher's been playing trips towards B. So I don't think B would be the best option, but like if we Omen ult it on top for itself, this will pull people away from C because they have to check spawn. And now we can start moving forward and walk on contact if we wanted to do that. Like that's a play that you can suggest. Why not? If you wanted to take B, you can have Omen alts right here and you can do a little spin around and see where they are. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Awesome. I'm just going to stun this area and then we'll move in. Right? These are right. things that you can do and ask for. Ask for that information. Who's who are the uh, leaders for gathering information on this comp? Gecko. Yeah, Gecko. Gecko has a dizzy. That's it, right? Wingman, you can argue too, but like dizzy. That's pretty much it. So Omen's alt needs to be used for info, as well as being unpredictable on if they're going to be flanking or not. Okay. Right. So another thing you can do. You can literally just like toss a smoke right here if you wanted to, and you can alt right in this spot. And now they're gonna be worried about the flank as you guys are moving forward. Now you have forward and back pressure. And this is really good when you're on an anti-eco round like you are right now, right? Or you're on a bonus round. I'm using anti-eco as like <laughs> CS terms. <laughs> but bonus round, you're on a bonus round and they have the better gun round, right? Why not? Why not make a play like that? Give it a shot. It could end up working for you guys. Just here, just here, just here. Okay, he wants to move forward. Windows XP man wants to move forward. What should you do? The flash for him. Flash this mother. Exactly. I'm flashing. I'm flashing Ben. I'm flashing Ben. Push, push, push. No action. You would have totally won that fight for him right there. This one's on you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, watch that for Omen Alt breach play. Okay, let's take a look. Oh yeah, this. He's gonna go back site. Yep, yeah, perfect. He's gonna go back site. Breach alts from the forward. They're worried about the forward as well, so this is perfect. Love this. Oh, oh, the stun! Oh my god! Oh, that was sick! What? Oh, oh man! So I'm guessing that Omen did that a few rounds prior, 
Is that what happened there, Osti? Must have done that a few rounds prior. So they conditioned that ult and that stun. That's insane. Omen alt, stun this line. Stun all down this line. There's another play, okay? And then as he's about to peek, you flash here. Then he peeks out after the flash is gone. Okay, you're about to flash and they're not ready for it. But I love that you're flashing to enable thrash. So think about that. You can flash to enable the actual utility, right? Mm, don't think so. We need to take space somewhere. In the smoke, in the smoke. Okay, so where should you stand now to guarantee round win? Just like back sight on, on the bomb. I'd go main. I'd go main. You have breach halt. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, the other thing you could do is you could flash for raise, but I think it's, there's not going to be a timing for that. But that would be it. That would be your last job on the site. <laughs> oh no, there's another one. You can flash through the roof. If you if they were back here, by the way, just letting you know. Oh yeah, it's in the smoke. That's that's underrated shit. I think it was the clove. You have full utility, you play door here. Yep, one hundred percent door. In fact you can just tell everyone to play back with you. You have full utility and you have raise alt. I would even say don't be afraid to use raise alt here. We need to win this. How do we know when an angle is worth flashing? Well, if we talk about that last round right there, we're thinking about how do we counter the raise alt and whatnot and what we can afford to use it for. Now, this would be a really good angle for Gecko to throw his flash because Gecko can bring it back. Breach can't, right? On top of that, Gecko's flash gets info, which enables the raise to be able to cross here. Okay. So you could argue one being thrown here, but ultimately, if we had the best case scenario, Gecko should be throwing the flash in this situation. Okay. Just because it regens, it comes back. So the reason why it's not great here is that we need to think about how the rest of the round's gonna go, right? And where we have to use our utility. Now, this one here, the learning is, you flash this, it covers this area, covers this peak, but it doesn't cover this deep angle. So now you know that, okay? So in retrospect, if you were to blind to get those threat pay, uh, paths away, where do you think we could flash? Because this angle's taken care of by the nade. Right here. Probably the right pillar, yeah. Yeah, the pillar right in front. That covers everything there. Okay? Covers the creep up on that side, just doesn't cover this pocket area. But that can be cleared. They're all on eco, and your utility is super, super key. Oh my dear Jesus. That is insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, and the return. Okay, so this is winnable. Likes to play it's tough, but it's winnable. And Stun it for him. Flash it for him. Okay, you play off the alt here. I think you gotta play in the door, honestly, man. You, yeah, you can't, you can't do this. Shit. Oh shit. 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 Fuck. Shit. You guys, you just gotta play the door, man. If you play the door, they have to open it to pinch you guys. If you play the door, you have all your utility to stall out. If you play the door, they have to fully come in here and they're gonna have to deal with all the shit that you got, right? This is the one time where I would say not looking for a kill and playing passive is probably better because you have superior positioning. You also have superior firepower, I believe, on this round. Because I think the Cypher only has a Sheriff, right? So why not just play passive in that situation? I totally, I totally get that I often talk about look for that next kill to like even things out. But in this situation, with where you're at, it's so good. 
Triple D. Okay. If he decides to push up and he goes in that smoke, you can flash up here above the smoke. I'm going to smoke. Wait, actually, no, no, no. He wanted to. He's, just, he's talking about it. He's having a conversation with himself. He's like, oh, I want to go in that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to find a way to die. Do you have any tips on staying focused after playing a few games? After playing two games, I can't seem to get in. Uh, sorry, I was going to answer that question, Chris. Um, you're reaching your mental fatigue point. Dude, he's just wrong, you, have to, you have to train that over time. I, I would take expect. breaks. So if you're doing two games, take that break. Go do something else for like 10 minutes, then reset. And uh, do some aim training or do some deathmatch or something along those lines. Just to, like get yourself <laughs> clear. Like if you look at, uh, if you watch Wuhujin, He's doing his raise to Radiant right now. He does like two games and then he takes a break and does deathmatch. Or he goes and walks his dogs. Like he's not staring at the screen and just queuing, 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 right? Think of it like this, okay? Classes in college usually have 45 minute intervals, give or take. They're 45 minute to like one hour. Okay? And then they give you a break, which is like five to 15 minutes. The reason why they do that is that when you're in this range, usually usually towards more than 45 minute that's when you have ideal amounts of focus and then your brain starts like jittering off so they've actually found through studies i can't remember which ones they are so i can't reference them but i do remember reading studies where they say that the amount of good value you get out of any activity is within 45 minutes before your brain basically stops learning or the efficiency of the learning goes down significantly so I would say one ranked match and then you got to go distract yourself and then reset yourself and then go back into the game. I, I would definitely take breaks. And can you increase that mental fortitude? Absolutely you can, but will you be performing at your best all the time? No. Like how many pro games have you watched where they continue to play right away? Or do they take a break between every single map? They take a break between every single map. Even pros don't do it. So you should be following in their example. Great kill. You have flashes for the front sight. Great job here. Love the spacing. Love the spacing. You have two flashes though. Okay. Just remember, yep. dry fights come secondary to util fights. Always. Always look to see if you have util. That's the difference. I want to see flashes thrown and you taking those fights well before you have to take a dry fight. We should never be dying with two flashes in our inventory. Worthy, how do you summon the energy into comms? Well, first of all, you gotta have passion behind your comms. First of all, if you want to win this game, you should have passion. So deliver it in your words, right? Inflection and intonation, high pitch is what you want. Lots of energy, open your mouth wide, get it wide so that you can deliver more volume out of it. This is a mouth, by the way, this is your face. Ah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> deliver shit, right? See how I'm speaking right now? I'm speaking ah, loud, wide, wide mouth, okay? And I'm always thinking about, <laughs> am I looking at the Pingu? <laughs> it did look like Pingu, didn't it? <laughs> it does look like Pingu. <laughs> yeah, to a degree, it does look like Pingu. But anyways, um, intonation, high pitch, happy tone, smile when you speak, like this, right? Because people will think that you're being an asshole if you don't, right? That's super, right. super key. Why are you supposed to fight for A main? on Lotus defense. A main Lotus defense, if you take this space and you hold it, it forces them down this area or this area, okay? You get early info into A site. So if you were to deposit one person there and they were to re-hit this space, you would hear much sooner that they're gonna be coming towards A and you'd be able to initiate a rotation early. You don't necessarily have to fight for this space though. You could fight for mount. It forces them to go down one of two paths. And when you're playing in a, in a a map with three bomb sites you need to be somewhat aggressive on one section of the map in order to gain a slight advantage or at least make things a little bit more even Forever. yeah we're just doing things you ever played pool before yeah okay i'm gonna draw a pool table when i used to play pool <laughs> stop it stop trampoline <laughs> We used to have this thing where we would call our shot, okay? I wanna use this analogy for you when it comes to you playing initiator, I want you to call your shot. When you're throwing utility, you must call everything. Otherwise it doesn't count, right? 
and you can look back in your VOD reviews and be like, okay, that one didn't count because I didn't say anything. You need to call a plan and a reason for your utility at all times. One, we know because action comms are so key to be able to enable everyone around you, right? We used to do it like this because anytime we would hit a shot and then we would just accidentally like knock a ball into the hole or whatever, we would actually pass it off to the other person because that wasn't our intention in the first place. So that was the way that we just kind of like kept ourselves yeah. accountable. I want you yeah, to keep yeah. yourself accountable the exact same way. Okay. Yeah. When you VOD yeah. review and when you're doing yeah. reach again in the future, your homework is mm -hmm. going to be to recheck and see if you called every action that you did when it comes to at the very least your utility. Is that fair enough? Also, did you do your homework? Yes. Patreon? Excellent. We did something called mood lifter chat uh, in Patreon, right? So by doing this with our Patreon people, we set up your environment so you're in a much better place mentally and you can figure out what makes you tick, what makes you happy, so that you can stop this kind of shit before it becomes a problem, right? You're able to track your feels. That's one of our mental toughness like, tools that I use like, with premium students. Zane, how do I pay you to coach? Zane, welcome in, my friend. How do I pay you to coach me? There's premium coaching options. Let me just quickly, can I just quickly plug this? So there's a lot of options and whatever option works for you, I'm totally cool with. This is my premium option. So premium includes nutrition support, mental toughness, like we're talking about here, where I have like, I have like a hundred tools to teach about everything that you deal with within a ranked environment and how to have the best mental to go forward with it. So we're talked about um, mental endurance earlier on in this stream. That's where this comes from. And there's a ton of tools that I use to be able to work with that and how to help you deal and cope with those, those situations that happen in the actual game. Personal training helps with your energy systems, uh, helps with longevity, helps you uh, keep away from injuries. So injuries could be migraines, uh, shoulder problems, wrist problems, you know, you hear carpal tunnel all the time, lower back issues, all these different things. We deal with those things before they become an issue, as well as build into your energy system so that you're able to be the best version of yourself for longer periods of time. Then we also have the weekly VOD reviews. So that's what comes with the uh, premium coaching option. So that is $150 weekly, but we pay in one lump sum. So it's $600 total. So that is my my premium service. Now, Patreon coaching is what you're experiencing right now. I choose one VOD from the Patreon submissions. Today, it's Nico, for example. So there's only so many that are up right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight more VODs. So within the next eight sessions, I choose one for every single one of them. And that coaching service is very cheap. It is only... Uh, $7.99 for just the tier two. What we're describing is the tier three, which is master coaching, $19.99 US dollars. And that includes um, the same thing that you have here in terms of the submission, but you also have coach 10 mans. We have two coach 10 mans that are meant for team play. If you look uh, exclamation point master coaching in chat, that happens two times for NA, Wednesdays and Fridays, and one time for EU right now. As it grows, I'm hoping to expand to APAC region, maybe the SEA uh, region at some point as well, and have one day for each, as well as having a high rank coach 10 mans. But that's like down the line when I can step away from personal training and just focus on this. But in order for that to happen, I need more people uh, to be into this, th this stuff. But within the master coaching, uh, as we can, I'll go into it uh, and scroll down. Was there a oh yeah, structure? Here we go. Here's the structure. So we choose one map. You have four weeks of it. You get access to pre-map uh, notes. These are all made by Osti. Osti's, I, I don't want to reveal who he is, but he's really high up in the scene. He's a top analyst. He knows how to play all the maps to a pretty much a T um, with the comps and all the metas. So we teach you every single week something about that map to make you more proficient into it and this will be able to help you along with your actual ranked games okay so we go through all that if you get premium you also get access to patreon by the way as well so you're able to access those ones so everything that premium has you'll or everything that uh, patreon has you'll have in premium as well think about with breach think about straight lines you want to get the most amount of value out of it Okay. Yeah. You always want to be in a line somewhere. So off into a corner, we're only getting value of this much, right? Right. So think about those things, right? How do I get straight lines? 
What are your top takeaways from this so far? Um, or definitely communicate your utility usage to enable your team more. Use your utility before you die, but don't definitely. don't overuse it for unnecessary um, actions. Conservation is key, right? And but here's the thing: maximize value with maximal conservation. Okay, because you your your stuff literally sets everyone else up, and it's so powerful. Your flashes are insane, right? Communicating all your your utility is another factor, right? That's what really enables that utility. Well, excellent work, and I'm hoping that this will help level up your breach gameplay. Yeah, it definitely will. Okay, awesome, my friend. Always a pleasure, never a chore, and we'll see you real soon. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah, bye for now. See you.